Hi everyone, welcome to another crafty video. Um, I'm showing here the Lawn Fawns um, Jump for Joy stamp set, um, which I am going to use, but the reveal wheel, I had some issues with it and I landed up actually cutting that footage out. So you'll see it'll look a little off. <laughs> Um, it just the card just really did not work out well for me but I do have a variety of um, distressings here that I will use some of them um, and obviously while I was trying to do the um, reveal wheel part of it um, I used some of these things for that as well so these are all sort of what I would call autumnal colors and I'm just going to um, watercolor the images in now I used, instead of black, I used some Versafine, um, I can't think what the, Vintage Sepia, um, which is a more of a brown colour um, to stamp the images. And that way I can also, once it dried, I could also use it to watercolour with. So I'm just taking a variety of the different colours of um, Distress Ink. Um, I think I had like Rusty Hinge and um, Scattered Straw, Vintage Photo, um, can't think what the other one dried marigold I think was there as well so just a variety of what I think are autumn colors and um, I'm just going to quickly paint these colors paint these images in um, I'll use my scan and cut to cut them out um, once it's all dry but like I say I started out with one one idea in my head of doing a reveal wheel with these little guys all over the place and sort of jumping for joy because it's now fall and that's what I'm like um, and I get very excited about it um, and it just didn't work out when I after I'd made the card I sat there and I looked at it and I thought no it just doesn't look right and I just was not happy with it so I very carefully peeled all the images off the card I had made <laughs> and came up with a new plan so Yes, this beginning, but there's a few bits you've seen, like a few bits of the cardstock and that, where the, um, you know, the the reveal wheel elements have been cut out, but I didn't actually use those. So um, in the end, I like I say, I changed the whole card up. So I'm just going through and I'm just coloring these guys in. And when an area is dried off a little bit, I then go in with an, with the same color, but to try and sort of give it a bit of depth. Um, or when it's not completely dry as well that also will give it a different um, you know you can add sort of shading if you like um, but I'm not too worried about how I do this I just kind of wing it um, I think I just play with it and see what happens um, and they turned out all right I quite like how they actually you know colors wise and the, the sort of different um, because it's distressing distress ink at least it um, and the way it reacts it sort of leaves this sort of mottled kind of look to it um, which lends itself I think especially for this time of year and also for um, this type of card <clears throat> so oh the other reason for using the um, Versafine um, vintage sepia ink was also those branches the solid ones even though I'm going over them with a bit of it um ink um you know having them stamped in brown makes more sense I can't remember if I actually used them in the end I don't think I do um but I just thought I'd show you what you can do obviously you can that was the idea I was going to have these branches coming in from either side and here's where it sort of looks a little bit like I'm <laughs> like I'm going to make that card but I don't um so all I'm doing here is I'm using vintage photo um, around the edge of all the images now that I've cut them out. And I think, um, I mean, any time of the year you can do this, but especially this time of the year with Halloween, with fall, with even Christmas, I just think it's so neat. I love it and I do it all the time. Um, and I'm doing it more and more now as well. I just think it adds something to those images and also takes that white edge off if you're not wanting that super white edge oh I think I was pointing at my cat there for a second <laughs> she's getting in there she's got to get in there um so I yeah just I, I love the way it looks I love that sort of vintage um dirty look <laughs> if I can say it like that <laughs> and um yeah I love it anyway I decided to bring in a um 
a Christmas set because there's some lovely birch trees in here. Um, I think it's the um, Joy All Around or something. Joy, not Joy to the World. <laughs> I can't think what it's called, but it's a uh, Christmas set and I'm actually going to use that in one of my um, Christmas videos as well. Um, and so I stamped it again in the Vintage Sepia ink and I'm just taking some more Distress ink and I'm just going to layer some colour onto that. Um, this panel is going to be, I mean the panel size doesn't really matter when you look at what we're doing here, when you'll see that in a minute, but it's basically to make an A2 size card. So I'm going to you. I'm also going to use one of the backdrop dies from Lawn Fawn to create sort of hills, if you like, and a frame. So you'll see you'll see that when I when I get to it. But at the moment I'm trying to create a new background because like I say the first card just really made no sense and I had no idea where I thought I was going with that so again I've taken some I think it was tumbled glass distressing um, but a, a pale blue and I'm just using it all over um, if I did might have been might have been a little darker than that I can't remember um, and I missed the bit on the video <laughs> anyway um, still having issues with this program so sometimes I miss it and I you know I'm not in line with it so hopefully it still makes a lot of sense anyway so I'm just creating a wash for the background there's that stitched um, background and it's just to create a sky and a and some trees and a bit of background and because it's a wash it kind of looks a bit like there's a bit of cloud in the background and that sort of thing I also used a heat tool just to dry it off just because I didn't want to wait for it to dry because I'm impatient and um, I this was the second time I was making this card so <laughs> I just didn't want to do this too much longer um, and again I'm using distress um, a vintage photo around the edges um, just to give it some of that look that I love um, this is the portrait version of the um, stitched is it stitched hillside back backdrop I think something like that so I'm going to now stick the what is the sky and my background to the back of this panel and I'm just not being too careful I'm just getting some glue on there and then I'm gonna stick it on the back very simple and look at that you've got this lovely little background going and I've put a big block on it just so that it could, um, you know, what's the word? Set. <laughs> so before I do any of the, um, put any of the characters back on, um, I'm going to stamp my sentiment and I'm going to use the um, Jump For Joy stamp set. And I was just trying to figure out where to put it, put the sentiment. And I used early espresso, I believe. Yeah, I did. I wasn't sure if I did in the end, but yeah, early espresso stamping up ink, and I just used that just because it was a nice shade of brown, and it was stamp clear. Distressing, so not meant for stamping, so they tend to look like well distressed. So um, if you want a clear image, then use um, you know something like a, a dye based ink um, that isn't a distressing. <laughs> so if that makes sense, so I use stamping up. And here I'm just arranging the little characters. Um, like I say, I had to pull them off the other so there's bits of orange cardstock stuck to them, but nobody's going to see that. And I just start putting them together on the card um, and getting them where positioned where I want them. Um, it's, it's a lot of fun doing this sort of thing because you almost create a little story. And I think this is why I love creating scene cards because they just there's a little story there's like you know oh they you know they're raking up the leaves and then oh there's one that's just about to jump into the raked up leaves and that's going to mess things up and you know and there's this whole little thing going on and I just think it's so cute and um yeah I'm a bit of a sucker for things like this <laughs> so so yeah and then also where the even though it's all flat where the um little guys sort of hang over the edge of like the uh, you know, when you've got more than one layer of cardstock, it tends to build up a bit of depth. So I just put some little um, foam squares behind that, some of them, just so that it stopped it from um, sort of 
it just looked funny when it was trying to lie flat if that makes sense so I just put that there just to add so although it's got depth it's not really depth when you look at the overall height of the of the whole panel but it just creates uh, you know it just, it just makes them more solid on there and then I've got the leftover leaves that I'm just going to pop and trying to decide again where to put them and what to do with them and all that sort of thing and I just wanted some falling leaves just to add to it so eventually I'll figure out where I want them <laughs> and they'll eventually go on there this was a very fun stamp set I've been dying to use this I got this probably a couple years ago um, and I just haven't used it yet it's an older stamp set of lawn forms but it's so cute and I just I absolutely love it there are just some things you have to have and this was one of them um, so I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video I know the beginning was sort of looking like it was going to be a different card um, but this is just I so prefer how this turned out this was so much better than the first one <laughs> you have no idea how that first one really just looked wrong on so many levels um, so I've just stuck it to a piece of um, an A2 size card and um, it's a top folding card and it's that's that's it it's just some Stampin' Up! cardstock you can use whatever cardstock you've got and um, like I say there's a bit of a more of a close-up of it I just I love how the whole thing looks it, it the whole thing is watercolored and I think that's made it made such a difference oh I also think I used if I remember right because some of these images I stamp in color before the time this one I did on camera but it's um, sure I used a mixed media cardstock um, either that or I used some Tim Holtz um, watercolor cardstock so um, use what you have and um, just keep creating so I hope you've enjoyed this guys I hope you give it a, a thumbs up and a like and a subscribe and a not if you hit the notification bell um, that lets YouTube know that you want to see more from me thanks guys and I'll see you in the next one bye